Welcome. In this module, we're going to talk about security documentation and specifically about procedures. And procedures, another name for that is SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. So this is the URL at the bottom of the screen, and let's take a look at how procedures are different from policies and standards. So policies, as we saw in one of the earlier modules, are rules related to key issues, what needs to be done, it's like a constitution, and a little bit about why it needs to be done or the importance of why it needs to be done. Standards are a measurement and they help to define the policy a little bit more with specifics, how much an activity needs to be done, what's the frequency of an activity. For example, the policy needs to be reviewed every year on a yearly basis and that also is a standard. Now, moving on, we go to the procedures or SOPs and these are detailed steps. How is something to be done? When is something to be done? Who is going to be, good to be doing an activity? And these are typically mandatory. So SOPs are typically mandatory activities just like standards. So procedures are detailed step-by-step -step instructions to achieve a given goal or a mandate. Mandate meaning it could be a compulsory requirement by the regulator. They are typically intended for internal departments and should adhere to strict change control processes. Procedures can be developed as you go. If this is the route your organization chooses to take, it's necessary to have comprehensive and consistent documentation of the procedures that you are developing. So let's take a look at some of the characteristics of procedures. They often act as the cookbook for how to do something, when to do it, and who should do it for staff to consult to accomplish a repeatable process. So the point is that it's a repeatable process. Many times there's a, this is an activity that has to be done by many people. For example, SOP for how to take a backup. Procedures should be detailed enough and yet not too difficult that only a small group or a single person will understand because usually it's repeatable and we need to make sure that everybody who's going to do that activity does it consistently, hence the detail and the, and the uh, clauses in the SOP. Procedures, for example, installing operating systems, performing a system backup, granting access rights to a system, and setting up new user accounts. These are all examples of procedures. Now, this is a layout for the front page of a sample procedure. So it has a title, Procedure for User Access Management. It has a document number. It has a version number. It has a classification, in this, in this case, company public. So everybody in the company can view it, and it has a date. This is the header section for the first page. This is actually the control page for the documentation, which is usually the second page of the document. It has a header. It has a revision history, when it has been reviewed, who is the reviewer, um, what is the distribution date and a brief description. There's a review history uh, section and an approved by section as well. This is the table of contents and we have um, a, an introduction section and then we have procedure detail section. And this is actually the first page of the actual SOP or procedure document. It has an introduction, a purpose section, a scope section and a reference policy section. And when you go to the procedure detail, as we saw in the table of contents, we're talk going to talk about access control, and we're going to now lay out the specific requirements or the specific clauses of the access control SOP. So the first clause is network team ensures that access to all computers, laptops, networking communication, and security control devices are controlled using secure logon procedures. And then the typical clauses, we go on and on for the access control. So that was about procedures or SOPs. And in our hierarchy of documentation, we have policies, standards, and we talked about procedures in this module. And in the next module, we're going to talk about guidelines. Thank you.